What's up guys, this is Sonny, back with another video and today real quick I want to give you guys a quick update on my Intel Z370 Hackintosh build. Now as you guys know I have two Hackintosh, I got an AMD Hackintosh and I got an Intel Hackintosh. I use my AMD Hackintosh for my everyday work purpose but there was a problem. My AMD Hackintosh, uh, the graphics card went bad and also motherboard, there's some problem with the motherboard, I can deal with it. But it's okay guys, it's okay, I have my backup. Intel Hackintosh right now and also I did send uh, uh, AMD Hackintosh B450 motherboard to uh, Gigabyte for RMA so I should uh, receive in like week or two so I'll give you guys update on that build also. So at this moment I'm using my Intel Z370 build and so basically I picked up a Intel uh, Core i5 9400F CPU. Uh, the base clock is 2.8 and the boost clock is 4.1. Now you guys were asking me to test this CPU with my hack and torch like Mojave. So I went and spent the money. $149 I spent on the CPU. I purchased the CPU from Micro Center. You guys can also pick up the CPU from I believe uh, Newegg and Amazon. But make sure you buy the CPU from Amazon, not Newegg, because you know I get a little kickback from Amazon. Alright guys, so today real quick I would like to show you guys like uh, you know you know, a couple benchmark, you know, tests and stuff I did with the uh, Intel uh, Core i5-9400F. And the difference between the i5-9400F and i5-8400, the reason i5-9400F cheaper than uh, i5-8400 because i5-9400F uh, doesn't come with a built-in Intel HD graphics, okay? So if you're going to use this CPU for, like, uh, your Hackintosh and if you're relying on the Intel QuickSync then you shouldn't get this CPU because Intel QuickSync work with basically Intel built-in uh, HD graphics so if your CPU doesn't have Intel built-in HD graphics then you can take advantage of the uh, Intel QuickSync alright so basically if you're planning on using like iMovie or Final Cut Pro with this uh, CPU and get a uh, better faster uh, export time uh, you're out of luck if you if you do care about Intel QuickSync then you should get yourself uh, maybe i5 uh, 8400 or 8500 both of those CPU does come with uh, Intel HD 630 graphics so you can take advantage of the Intel QuickSync so i5 9400F does have six cores so six physical core but there is no logical cores so that's mean there is no hyper threading so i5 9400f is basically exact same as the um, i5 8400 and 8500 uh, cpu the only difference is the uh, intel hg graphics card this one doesn't have intel hg graphics i did pick up an msi uh, rx uh, vega 56 graphics card for around 200 dollar oh i paid nine dollars shipping so it was like 209 dollar yes i did buy this card from a miner so yeah that's a mining card now i did have some problem with this card i think the owner he flashed the rx um vega 64 bios to the uh, rx vega 56 card and there was like temperature issue and also there was some problem so what i basically did is i went to tech power up and i got the original bios from there thanks to tech power up and i got the original msi rx vega 56 bios and i flashed it and now the card is running perfectly fine so let's jump in and show you guys all right, guys, so you guys can see I did run some tests for you guys. So I have Luxmark here. I have Gigbent CPU test. I have Gigbent GPU test and Cinebench R20. I used to test with Cinebench R15. Uh, now, just because Cinebench R20 is new, so I want to stick with Cinebench R20 from now on. And then Novo Bench and then uh, Disk Speed Test and also uh, Xcode. Uh, I have a small project I'm working on. So real quick, I'll share with you guys. All right, now let's jump into about this Mac and you guys can see I'm running Mac OS Mojave version 10.14.1. Now that's not the latest version, but the system is running so stable. I don't feel like uh, updating or touching it because, uh, you know, I use this system for my everyday work purpose right now, now that my AMD uh, computer is down. The RAM I'm running, uh, HyperX uh, 16 gigs, 2133. And I can overclock this RAM to around 2666. So yeah, maybe I'll do that down the road. The graphics card I'm running, MSI Radeon RX uh, Vega 56. 
Uh, yes, that's a mining graphics card, but the card is running flawlessly. Um, and also I'm running dual display. So, you know, I have one 23 inch on the left hand side and then I have a 24 inch. That's the Asus one with 144 hertz. Now, let me show you guys real quick system info. So you guys can see uh, I'm really running the uh, Intel uh, Core i5-9400 uh, F CPU. So you guys can see here uh, the base clock for Core i5-9400 uh, F CPU 2.9 gigahertz and the boost clock is I believe 4.1 gigahertz. Now the difference between the uh, i5-8400 and this CPU just the clock speeds. So i5-8400 I believe uh, comes with 2.8 gigahertz and the boost clock is uh, uh, I believe 4 gigahertz. So that's the only difference. All right. Now let me show you guys Luxmark real quick so you guys can see uh, basically I ran all this test and I took a screenshot so you guys can see like a screenshot here all right so Luxmark uh, score I got around 26,144 I think 26,144 is pretty good with my RX 580 I got around uh, I believe uh, 14,000 so it's pretty good jump all right, uh, let's look at uh, Cinebench CPU test. So Cinebench CPU test, uh, single core score I got around 5,400, and then multi-core score I got around uh, 21,938. I think that's a pretty good single core and the multi-core uh, score. And then you can see the system spec right here. So let's just move on and check uh, Geekbench uh, compute uh, test. So that with the we ran this test with the RX Vega 56. So you guys can see open CL score 178,849. That's like the first time I'm using RX Vega 56 graphics card with my Hackintosh. So I don't know if this uh, score is good. If you guys think this score is not good and I'm getting lower score, please let me know in the comments section. So I think that's a pretty good score. Let's go to Cinebench. So Cinebench uh, R50. Uh, Cinebench R20, uh, we got CPU score uh, 2398. So the score is a uh, little less than the i7 7700K. Uh, I think that's because of the maybe the, 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 the uh, clock speed, you know. So, yeah, it's not bad. Let's just check uh, Nova Bench real quick. So Nova Bench uh, CPU score I got around 802, uh, GPU score uh, 558, and Metal 3D I got 60 FPS and OpenCL uh, around uh, 4,454 G flops. Uh, RAM score uh, 16 gigs of RAM I got around 267, and the disk score is 72 so the write speed is 322 and read speed is uh, 434 you guys can see the total score I got for uh, Nova Bench 1699 so yeah it's pretty good so let's just move on to disk speed test so yeah you guys can see I got better uh, uh, read speed uh, while testing with the disk speed test I got around 513 and write speed is a little lower, it's around 225. Now let me open uh, Xcode real quick and show you guys my little project. So let me just open this. So I didn't know what to do with Xcode, so I was basically working on like something, you know, something related to YouTube. So then I did this, you know, that's my logo here. And then when you click on subscribe, uh, just for testing purpose, guys, so you guys can see Xcode is working. Uh, so right here. So if let's put it this way, we want to test. So we can just click on play. Okay. And you guys can see the simulator just open. All right, come on app work already. All right, so now you guys can see my uh, tech turn live uh, the TTL icon. All right, and then I can click on subscribe and it'll take me to the YouTube channel just for testing purpose. You know, 
so you guys can see the app is uh, really working you know not bad I can click on this video and uh, we can watch this video yeah see so the Xcode is working flawlessly without any problem now let me go back and let me close this okay so Xcode is running perfectly fine I tested iMovie iMovie works uh, you know good but again um, if you have a uh, Intel CPU with Intel uh, built-in HD graphics then you will get better performance just because of Intel quick sync so if you don't have a Intel built-in graphics uh, so basically you are not going to uh, you, you're not going to get the same uh, fast performance if you had like a Intel HD built-in graphics so basically you can compare this uh, i5 uh, 9400 CPU to like a maybe uh, Ryzen 5 uh, 1600 CPU or Ryzen 5 uh, 2600 CPU because Ryzen 5 2600 CPU doesn't come with built-in graphics so if you have a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU with a uh, RX Vega 56 you should get same performance because there is no Intel quick sync because this CPU doesn't have uh, Intel built-in HD graphics Alright guys, so you guys can see the system is running really well and I use this setup for my everyday uh, work and game purpose. Now, as you guys know, I like to play Apex Legend at least 2-3 hours a day. So that's the reason uh, I really like the Vega 56 graphics card because I have a 144Hz monitor. Now, high setting, I get around like maybe 135 FPS and I'm kind of happy with it. And like I said, that card had a Vega 64 BIOS so I had to reflush and put a original BIOS now the card is performing really well now do I recommend i5 9400 F CPU for hack and tosh uh, if you can if you can squeeze maybe a little bit more money and get like i5 8400 CPU because I, I highly recommend if you are planning on using uh, your Hackintosh for like rendering video and you use like maybe iMovie or Final Cut then you do need Intel Quick Sync if you uh, do export your video with H.264 so yeah but if you don't care about that then you can definitely go with i5 9400F CPU it's a great budget CPU you can pick up for like 149 or 159 sometime you can check eBay you can pick up a i5 8400 or 8500 CPU and eBay for around hundred and sixty dollar used so I don't know up to you guys so far I'm happy but I do miss Intel quick sync every time I'm using uh, iMovie or Final Cut Pro so I'll go back to my i5 8500 CPU oh, oh no i5 8400 CPU so yeah uh, if you have any question don't forget to leave in the comment below and if you guys want to see like a gaming benchmark with i5 uh, 9400F CPU paired with RX Vega 56. Don't forget to subscribe and give thumbs up. See you.